10 things that will change your life in 2023 because they changed mine in 2022. So I had to share them with you. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanin my Mom here. Subscribe to this channel if preventing skin cancer is important to you. All right, the first thing that will change your life in 2023 is adding in supplements for focus and productivity specifically. I added in two supplements specifically for focus and productivity because I'm a content creator and I find that this gadget right here distracts me all the time as well as my children. Sometimes I just need a little help in focusing on the task at hand, planning out my videos, getting everything done before I have to pick kids up from school in the afternoon. So I added two supplements and I don't take these at the same time. Ashwanga gummies, 300 milligrams. I just picked this up at Target. They're just little gummies and I swear that they help me focus better. Promotes a healthy response to everyday stress, help with, helps with memory and cognition, supports quality of sleep and more. I definitely find that I focus more with by taking these. The other supplement, which I did a three little videos on, is the Magic Mind supplements. They do not have caffeine with them. You can take them by themselves or alongside your caffeine in the morning, which I do. <laughs> I only have a 15 bottle subscription, so it gets me through half the month, and then I use these the second half. This lat gives me about six to eight hours of productivity. This one gives me just a couple hours of productivity. I use them alongside each other. This tastes like a crisp ginger lemony flavor. They came out with a new flavor. They've improved the flavor from the videos that I did back in, I wanna say October, where I did not like the taste of this. Now I like it. It has matcha in here. They have vitamin C, vitamin D, and 21 calories. Second thing that will change your life in 2023 is wake up before everyone else in your household. I know, right? So if you're like me and you're a mom, especially with young kids, my daughter, she's five, she gets up at 6.15. I get up between 4.30 and five. I would like to get up at five, but because we, we just got cats, they, they start waking me up at 4.30. I will typically do stretches before everybody else. I will sometimes get on the elliptical and run before everybody else. That gives me a chance to drink my coffee, do like a meditation or read a little bit of a book take care of the cats, feed them, change their litter box in a quiet household without all the hustle and bustle of everybody else. Now I've been doing this for years. I am a morning person and it is life-changing. Those days when I only wake up 10 minutes before everybody else, mm -mm, I don't get as much done. Third tip, life-changing 2023. Before you go to bed, write down the three most important things that you wanna accomplish tomorrow. I usually have like a post-it notepad that I keep by my bedside table or I do it at the kitchen counter and I just quickly write down the three things that I know have to get done tomorrow so that when I wake up in the morning I look over it and review it. If you're not a pen and paper person, keeping a note in your phone of the three things and just taking them off as you do them, that way you at least accomplish three things the next day. Tip number four, apply a sunscreen immediately after, after your moisturizer every single day, even when it's raining outside, even when you're not planning on going anywhere, establish a daily routine. Before I had melanoma skin cancer, I didn't do this. <laughs> Hence why I ended up, one of the reasons why I ended up with melanoma skin cancer. I didn't have a routine of putting on sunscreen. Now, rain, shine, whatever, I put sunscreen on immediately after my moisturizer. That way I never forget. For reapplying sunscreen on top of your makeup throughout the day, Watch this video right here. Tip number five, take 10 minutes after dinner to just walk through your house and pick up clutter. Usually I'll take like a little basket or a box with me or even the laundry hamper. And I just walk through and I pick up random toys off the floor, random socks, cat toys, kid toys, cups that are just hanging out on the tables, bowls of food, blankets on the floor, I'll put them up, pillows on the floor, just 10 minutes. Life changing. You will be surprised how much you can make your spaces look cleaner and neater and organized by just picking up clutter for 10 minutes after dinner. Tip number six is a small luxury, but not for those of you who are sensitive to fragrance. But if you love a good fragrance, <laughs> 
<laughs> take the time to spritz just a little bit of some kind of a pillow linen mist on your pillow on like your your sheets before you pop into bed to smell something good if you have pets pets are stinky if you have a husband, husbands are stinky. It just gives you a pleasant scent before you go to sleep and I am living for it. I have two that I absolutely love right here and they're vastly different price points. This one I've been using for years. This is the Bath and Body Works Lavender Vanilla Sleep Pillow and Body Mist. I don't use this on my body. I spritz it on my bed, I spritz it on my sheets. It smells, if you like lavender, fantastic this one i got for christmas my husband asked me for a random like what i wanted for christmas and i just happened to mention this because honestly i couldn't think of anything and i thought hmm, that might be fun to try it was expensive so i suggest you buy this on sale but it is heavenly mm, okay um it is the joe malone lavender and moonflower pillow mist and i've been since i got this for christmas pillow bed sheets, two spritzes, that's it. My whole little area. The next morning I wake up, I can still smell this. Whereas this one dissipates in a couple hours. This one stays on. Like I'll get up and my hair, the back of my hair will smell like it, which is a fantastic good thing. Tip number seven, when you first see your kids and your husband or your spouse in the morning, smile at them, greet them. I love when my daughter gets out of bed and she runs in. She goes straight for our kitten who is eight months old, her name is Jojo, and pets her first. But I make sure that I say, good morning, I am so happy to see you. And I give her a hug, a kiss on the top of the head. Even if I'm having a bad morning, if I have a headache, if I don't feel well, I always greet her with a smile so that she feels special. Same thing with my son. When he comes in, he is 15. He is usually Mr. Grumpy Pants in the morning. And I always make sure to smile and say, I'm so happy to see you this morning. I give him a little pat on the shoulder. He's not very much into hugs or on the knee. I'll pat him on the knee. It's such a simple gesture that we often forget to do, but it has a huge impact on those that we live with. Tip number eight, adopt an animal. If you have been thinking about it, considering it, it is so rewarding. We just adopted two cats, a mama and her daughter, Mama Blossom, Jojo, that you've seen in videos before. They're both, they're both sleeping right now. Normally they're wild around me filming. Yes, animals are stinky. Yes, they tear things up, but so do kids, so are husbands. <laughs> They are so rewarding to just pet them, uh, reduces stress, you know, they're always happy to see you. Even cats, yes, cats always, they greet me. When we come home, we are greeted by cats. We've had dogs before too. So if you've been thinking about it, highly consider adopting because there's so many animals that need homes and are so thankful when you adopt them. Tip number nine, go outside every day. Get a little bit of sunlight hang out in your hammock. I was gifted a hammock by a company last year and I had never owned a hammock before. I had been missing out. <laughs> we have two posts in our backyard that evidently the people who lived here before, they had to have put a hammock there because it's perfect for a hammock. I love just laying in it, listening to the birds and the sounds of the trees. And it's just so peaceful to just be outside. Getting that fresh air and sunshine that our bodies need, also our souls. Our souls need fresh air and sunshine. And tip number 10, start your day off with a glass of water. This was a new thing of mine that I started about six months ago where I noticed that I was just going directly to coffee or tea, my caffeine first thing in the morning, and realized my body was just craving a glass of water before I had caffeine. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been life-changing, especially now with all, all of the winter weather, we get the congestion coming, it just clears out the, your throat, your congestion, it helps with you know dry mouth. Water is life-giving. <laughs> 
our body craves it. It also helps keep my mind clear and keeps me focused if I drink water throughout the day. I try and drink about four of the big Starbucks cups of water throughout the day. My son got me this gorgeous pink ombre Starbucks cup for Christmas. So I've been enjoying having a water bottle that you enjoy looking at and drinking from is a game changer. Now, last year or the year before, I got my husband this huge jug that tracks his water intake. He drinks one of these a day. He carries it around with him. He takes it to work with him. It is cumbersome, but it has been life-changing for him. What are your life-changing tips? Let me know those in the comment section down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.